You may begin. Okay, so first things first. Are the server we're going on launch? NA West, Magmel. We're not going Celadon because Shroud's going there and that's going to be hell. We know Magmel is a uh, similar pop size. We have every expectation that we'll have PvP to our heart's content for those of you who want that. So there's no worries there. Um, as for our faction, we're going to be going Covenant. For pretty much the same reasons, we think we can get the most PvP if we go on that faction. Uh, we also have a, a fairly well-established alliance. Um, and uh, that's pretty much every reason we're going Covenant. There's not much more to go off on that. We're not respecting any sort of, uh, uh, what's, what's the word, aesthetic reasons. So we're trying to keep it as uh, reasonable as Practical. possible. Yeah, uh, I'm going to post a thing in New World General. I just want to get a quick count. How many of you guys are planning to be there on launch? It's going to be 8 a.m. PST. As just a, go ahead and react with a thumbs up. No, no, react with a thumbs up. There you go. Or, as wow. a note, they will very likely open it slightly early. Maybe even half I'm gonna, an hour or an hour earlier. Yeah, I'm going to be there at 7 a.m. Same. If they open it up before that, then you know, fuck them. But 7 a.m. That's when we're. Uh, that's when I'm going to be there and Jade, and we're going to get ready to go. Um. Okay, so let's actually go through the plans for launch. Here's the biggest thing: we are trying to shoot for a territory, and that means that we need to we need to get a hundred thousand gold faster than any other guild that's trying to go for that same territory. Um, pull Chicky down. So, if you have any questions about trying to get people in the room, try to try to send that to Kabato or Red. They'll they'll help people get in here. So yeah, our plans are to take Brightwood. Um, we're gonna try to get as many people. In at launch, I suspect, depending on the situation in the server, territories could be grabbed in an hour or two. Uh, up to like six hours would be like the latest I could imagine for the main territories to be taken. They're going to be focusing on Everfall and Windsward. Those are going to be highly contentious. And I mean, I would be happy to go and try to take it over. But to actually buy Everfall or Windsward as a territory seems like a waste of 100,000 gold. Because of how early of a zone it is. Brightwood is, I think, 25 to 45 or something like that. So it gives us time to go there, level up fast, get it established, get defenses, and actually be able to hold the territory. We have plans for PvP. Xrex is our PvP coordinator. If you have any um, desire to be in an organized PvP, message him. He'll try to get you set up. If you want to be somebody who's a squad leader, and actually want to put the time into helping people get organized for a siege, let him know. If you have any preference as far as, you know, being a tank, being a healer, being somebody who's more ranged-based, or wanting to just be a guy on a cannon, try to give him that kind of information as well. Um, our number one priority regarding a territory is to keep it. Not everybody's going to be able to get into defensive wars, because we're going to want the people who are going to be the best suited to hold it whether that's in our guild or outside of it. So I expect those of you guys who want to be in PvP to really put the work in and the time to learn your class, to get those levels, because I want to make sure to get as many of you guys into those defenses as possible. Uh, did I miss anything on sieges, Jade? I mean, yeah, but for brevity's sake, let's not go into that fucking can of worms. Well, I'm, I'm hoping you go over the actual leveling process and the gold process more when, when we get there. So I'm going to leave that yeah, to you. that's fine. Um, as for trading and crafting, uh, Olama, he is our crafting and trading and gathering coordinator. If you are somebody who wants to be a crafter or a gatherer, I mean, I think everyone could just be gatherers, but if you want to do a craft, send him a message. There's a list, I believe, in New World Crafters chat that shows you the current rundown of who's doing what. We're going to want multiple crafters. We're a pretty big guild. We're expecting to have over 100 people. Maybe even two. We'll see how it goes. 
So if you want to do a craft and you're really passionate about it, you want to be one of the guys that are helping out the guild understand it's a big responsibility. You're going to be getting a lot of guild resources, and we expect you to put the time in and the effort and all that good stuff. And hopefully your contributions will end up making a big impact later on for siege defenses so, and something, offenses. Something that's super important too. There's a lot of like uh, synergy that works together. For example, one if anyone's going stone cutting or alchemy as, a, as their goal, you need to do both. Uh, the reason is because that's the only way to make the the basically stones that allow you to get into dungeons. And the reason you want to do that is because the shit you make in alchemy is only, it's like it's bind on pickup, so you can't trade it. You can trade the result, but you can't trade the, uh, I think it's got like a heart, or in some cases. So, you know, if you're doing either of those, know that you're double dipping. You're going to have to. If, uh, if you actually want to um, to be a crafter, Alama couldn't be here just as a disclaimer, but he he'll be around for sure. So go ahead and send him a message for whatever craft you want to do. And actually, if you could just, I'll make another announcement. Actually, in New World Crafters, same deal. I want you to put a thumbs up on this post I'm about to make. Not even just to be a crafter, but if you just want to be really big in gathering and life skills and that kind of stuff. Hey, there he is. Um, we might hold like a specific crafters meeting. I know a lot of you guys are just PvPers, and you don't want to get lost in the in all that good stuff. We don't want to take up too much of your time. So we might have a crafting meeting later, just like we'll have a PvP meeting later down in launch when it's more pertinent. We just want to make sure you guys have the information you need to know for day one. So go ahead and do a thumbs up for that, and we'll use that information later. Um, the last thing I want to stress, this is probably the most important thing. Uh, Discord. Attendance. Activity in the Discord. I need you guys to be in Discord if you're in the game. I'm happy to make some exceptions for people who like to play at work, for example. I understand you can't be in Discord if that's the case. But for the most part, if you're in the game, I need you to be in Discord. I don't care if you're in the main channel. I don't care if you're in a channel by yourself. If you just want to be in a quiet room, we have the silent channel down there. Only officers can talk in there. So the only time you're going to hear anything if, is if one of us comes in there and like tries to get something together. Maybe we want to take a fort or something in the, in the open world. So that's, that's going to be a big requirement for us. We might be a little bit more lenient. if you know, you really are against that and you just want to be, like, let's say, uh, the second guild we make, we might we might make room for people who don't want to be part of that. But if you're in the if you're in the first guild for HBM, I expect you to, to follow those requirements. I think that's everything I got, Jade, if you want to go ahead. Okay, there is... I, I can't tell you there's a fucking ton of information to learn. I was going to just unload a lot of stuff on you guys, but to be perfectly honest, there's just too much to go over. So some tips to get everything kind of started early. One thing you guys can do to give yourself some health boosts early on, and it's super easy, and you can make a little money doing it. When you pick up water, you can go to any like water source, except for the, the salt water. Pick up water, put it on your hot bar. It doesn't add to your weight. You can drink it for a little bit of health just constantly. Just keep tapping it. And then on top of it, if you have any left when you're at home uh, at a place, you can just throw it on the auction house. It'll give you a little, little coin. So actually a pretty big deal that you do that. Because um, like I said, you can have 200 or something like that on your hot bar and just, just constantly drinking as you're running around and just in between fights. Um, another important thing is you can skip the tutorial. That'll get you a little bit of a head start. If you are using sword and board, you or sword and shield, you may want to go through the tutorial because it gets you a free skill, and that's something like really early, real quick that you might want to get. Um, no, no matter what you're doing, even if you're not a logger, if you ever see the trees with four, they're like four trees in a cluster, kind of like a four-leaf clover sort of thing, but they're all, um, it's very noticeable, they're clustered. 
the XP that you get from that is like doubled and there's four of them right next to each other and you get like double the wood. It's super effective. Just fucking grab that every time you see it. It's just the most effective way to fucking grow your logging and everyone's oh. going to need a little bit. Is that just for me? Is what just for you? Hello? Mark? Okay. He died. Anyways, um, one thing you guys are going to do, pretty much no matter what you're doing, push to level 20 as fast as you can. If you're Even if you're a crafter, you want to push to 20 very quickly because that'll get your Azoth staff, and the Azoth is actually a pretty big deal in getting your your, well, getting Azoth and basically advancing the story. Once you get to 20, get your Azoth staff. It's a kind of a lengthy quest. You can do it on your first day. But get it quick. It's going to help you basically push your character quicker. And after that, you can go do your log and go do your money, your food, your money, whatever it is that you want to do, your crafting, your more grinding, whatever you like. Uh, another thing is groups. Uh, are very effective at fighting high-level mods. There's lots of places to fight groups. They're elite mobs. They're extremely good experience for your your weapons, your your growth overall. Like you get extra experience, obviously, but your weapons really start to get a boost on it. So, like late game, if you want to start diversifying your weapon loadout or your possible weapon loadouts, that's what you're going to be doing is using those to get it. Um. Another thing, you're, as you're playing through the game, you're going to get these map level ups. So, for example, if you're in Cutlass Keys and you're doing quests, you're expand, going through levels and stuff like that, you will get these things on your map that you can level up. And it'll be like storage space, experience boosts that are you know, specific to that zone. There's a lot of stuff you can get, but there's a couple things that you want to try to plan. Certain zones are going to be better off, like, for example... If we're trying to take Brightwood, boost your, um, uh, when you're in Brightwood, you want to boost your capacity. You want to have more storage space there. You also might want to have, for example, if, if you're going to uh, Everfall, Everfall has great, like, iron resources. Maybe do your gathering uh, speed for that one. The one thing that's super important is XP is a fucking trap. Don't do it. It's like nothing. It's it's a very small amount. Even if you stack it multiple times, you won't stay in the zone for very long. So it's just not a good idea. Um, I don't know what Mark was specifically wanting to talk to me about level ups. Um, um, my internet's better. Uh, just mostly that uh, for the gold starting off, unless you're an experienced crafter or gatherer and know what you're doing for launch, and even then your plans might. Kind of have a wrench thrown in it because the economies of launch are going to be different than that of beta or, or open yeah. beta and closed beta. The The most consistent way you can get money for that territory is leveling. And the nice thing about that is you're hitting two birds with one stone. You're getting your levels up to defend and get up to the territory we'll, where we'll be holding it. And you'll also be getting a good amount of cash. At about level, what is it, 10, you'll have around one to 2,000 gold. And you can get that done in maybe 30, 45 minutes. Another thing, too, that you can do is, like, right now, the gathering is going to be super important. More than anything, you need to level up your gathering, or, like, as you're going through things. Uh, because when you start getting to higher level zones, the gathering, like, of, of um, like, star metal is, like, 100. Uh, you need 100 mining for it. Um, or a calcum is, like, 150, if I remember correctly. Um, so you want to be making sure you do that. But you can also dump a lot of your just excess that you may or may not use in the auction house to get gold. It's really like early on, you want to kind of take advantage because there will be people purchasing at exorbitant rates. Uh, for example, I know Sammy was talking about how he's just going to take his wood, process it. And then, you know, so, so he's getting kind of double dipping and some of those processing can be very valuable as well. So, you know, take your pick on how you want to do that. Um, but that's it. That's all for me. Well, um, go ahead. Uh, did you have anything to say, Olama? 
Uh, yeah, so since I came a little late, I don't know if you mentioned it. Um, so in the, uh, the list will probably need to be posted again. Uh, where's the second? And then we got my notes, so I'll put up the updated. Still need people to sign up for various crafts and being dedicated um, refiners. So the expectation is that if you are a dedicated crafter or refiner or whichever, um, you should not feel entitled to people just coming directly to you to bring you mats. You know, people are out leveling, doing PvP and stuff like that. You should be coordinating with them for you to go and do pickups and stuff as well. Don't expect everything to just be handed to you in a basket. You should be putting in the work to uh, Here we go. Here is the most up-to-date signups. Uh, wait, did I not post? All right. Well, I think the one from the 19th is there. Uh, yeah. So DM me if you are interested in a particular craft or refining. Um, if you are a dedicated refiner, the other expectation is that you have mats on hand that are refined for when crafters need it. Um, there should be a pinned post for ordering. So once we are like getting to that end game and stuff like that, and there are particular things you want, uh, there is a Google Doc pinned in the crafters section, the new world crafters world, or new crafters world, sorry. Um, in being There's a page for each craft. Uh, I know definitely while leveling up, the most common one is going to be tools right now. Uh, so you can put your tool requests on there. Um, I'll make it pretty. I know it's not that pleasing to see just black, white, and gray. Uh, we'll add some color, make it a little fancy later. But yeah, we'll use this. I used this for Worm when I was managing a whole faction of like several hundred people. So this should suffice. Hopefully. <laughs> um, if, it can... if it gets out of hand in any way, you know, we'll we'll revise it, but it, it shouldn't. As long as people are can be communicative, updating when things are crafted and not doing super ambiguous requests that just says armor please, you know, put some put what you're looking for if you need light, medium, or or heavy and preferably what kind of uh weapons you're meaning so or if you already or if you know what stats you're looking for so that we know to give you that as we're crafting things and uh, like i said i'm sure we'll have a, a an actual meeting just for the crafters sometime after launch because right now uh, pvp aside crafting aside the biggest thing is going to be getting that money we might you know despite all our efforts i mean there's a there's a good chance we might not even still get a territory, which isn't the biggest deal, because then we'll we just get the it. content of taking it, yeah. yeah, which is fine with me. So, But, you know, I kind of want to see what we can do, just as kind of like a, uh, a point to make with the 21 people who said they're going to be there at launch. I'm assuming there will be a few more. Um, so let's say we have about 25 at launch at the, at the very least. If each of us get 4,000 gold, then that's, that's a castle. So, and that's not even counting the help we might or might not get from our alliance. We're not really sure what to expect from that. I'm not trying to count on that at all, but, you know, they're a group, they're a really cool group of people. So maybe, maybe that helps us, you know, push us a little bit. We need to, to be the first to get the territory we want. Just to speak on that yeah, a little bit more, we actually have, and so the, sorry. we actually have the, uh, the alliance, it's uh, they're some pretty dedicated groups, some bloodthirsty groups. They just want to fight. They're not necessarily worried about controlling things, but some of them do. Um, some of them are long-term friends of you know HBM. Some people that have been here or are in the community. Um, so they're doing their own thing. It's cool, but the the point is that they've actually we've discussed it. They're gonna basically try to support us, and we're gonna try to support them back. As, need, as available. So just keep that in mind. Also, uh, I'm going to post this poll in New World General. Try not to drown it out real quick. If you guys can go on that poll and pick uh, Mag Mel, 
just because we want it to look a little bit more accurate to its size on the pole, and that would end up getting us more people to kill, which is always good. So make sure to uh, do that if you can. Um, hey, let me jump does anyone else have uh, anything? Go ahead. I have uh, one other thing that I want to direct you guys' attention to. There is the infographics group, or whatever, text chat. I've collected a lot of information. You guys can use that information there. It's a ridiculous amount of information. Um, you can use that for figuring out whatever builds you want to do. Like, there's a lot there. So, please, I did a lot of work to get all that together. Just just use it. Or just tell me that I used it. That, that'll be good enough. Jade, I used yeah. it. Send, Thank you. Take a selfie with you in front of your, your uh, monitor on that channel and send it to Jade. There you go. That'll make his whole day. But uh, I'm actually very interested to see how many people are going to answer this poll. Because if everyone here answered that poll, then Magnell becomes the uh, the fourth largest server on that poll, which makes actually a big deal, considering who's who. How many people are actually using that as a indicator? We'd end up patching or passing up Celadon. Um. It's closed. I, I see the votes going up, Josh. Oh, and I wanted to touch on, um, don't worry about hoarding crafting materials in those first couple days. Just sell that shit so we can get those funds up. Uh, we'll worry about hoarding stuff and, uh, after that. Oh, did I not link the actual voting page? Yeah, there's two pages. There's a vote page, and then there's one where you're... If you go to the one that he links, you have to go to the bottom and say, vote on this. Then yeah, you if you have a like VPN, you'll have to turn it off. I know, it's it's horrible, but... We're voting for Magmel. I'm going to make an announcement after this meeting, including the server we're on, the faction we're going, and uh, the recording for this meeting. So if you have any questions, and you know it was in the meeting, you can go back. Also, make sure, like I said, to send it to your friends who couldn't make it. And uh, does anyone else have anything else? Nothing? Okay. Well, our, let's our, have... Vaughn is typing a question. Uh, okay, it's a stupid question. All right, moving on. Okay. Well, <laughs> if there's any questions, I'll still be around. I'm, I'm probably just going to hop down a channel so everyone can talk. And, and I can just sh just shoot answers. But uh, the, the biggest thing is, let's, let's have some fun. That's going to be the number one focus. Let's all just go to bed right now so we can wake up at 7 oh, a.m. Oh, no, there is one important Jesus thing. Jesus Christ, turn there me over one the of my house five knuckles deep, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. There is one important thing that, is, that, that everyone should know that I almost forgot Thank about. Thank you for waiting to the end. 11 o'clock tonight, PST, you can load into the European servers and try to reserve your name. The, the names are global, so once someone takes your name, you ain't going to get it. So if, if you're a dumbass like Mark, who just goes with Mark, then <laughs> you might have That's an issue. Me. Like, for example, even in the, the, the beta... I got Mark in video. So the point is that okay. 11 tonight, PST, you can load into the server, or into the game. It's actually, there's preload already available which everyone should be working on right now. I'm not because I have to be in this meeting. So the uh, the point is, you can get your name. I re highly recommend it. It's going to be a shit show, though, because, like, all of North America is trying to do that as well. So All of the world. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's the plan, okay? If you're going to be there for launch, 11 p.m., get your name, and then just, just pass out. Uh, good luck, because uh, I'm going to have some troubles. Was that 11 p.m. West Coast? PST. Yeah. So if you're in East, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know what you're going to do. I'm sure you'll manage. Uh, I think I could... I need to go move to the East, so I just have to wake up at 11. Oh, jeez. Well, I think we're good here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to... Thanks for coming. I appreciate all of your time. I look forward to tomorrow. Let's uh, let's show up and let's 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 fucking have some fun. We will be in the channel Minute Men to answer any questions. Again, it's Minute Men, small men. <laughs>